you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor so the eighth commandment is false witness against your neighbor we read like this so it comes under lies speaking lies false witness gossiping gossiping slandering lies let's read sirach chapter 20 verse 24 sirach chapter 20 verse 24 we read like this book of sirach chapter 20 verse 24 we read like this a lie is an ugly blot on a person a lie is an ugly blot on a person it is continually on the lips of the ignorant it is continually on the lips of the ignorant a lie is an ugly blot on a person a it is continually on the lips of the ignorant Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. A lie is a blot on a person. Praise the Lord. Praise Very the Lord. ugly blot on a person. This is what the Bible says. Proverbs chapter 12 verse 22, we read like this. Proverbs chapter 12 verse 22, we read like this. Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord. Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord. But those who act faithfully are his delight. But those who act faithfully are his delight. Lying lips, anybody who is a liar who always speaks lies, God consider them as an abomination. God hates those actions. Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord. But those who act faithfully, those who do not say lies, but those who say right, God he is happy with them delight with them praise the lord praise the lord colossians chapter 3 verse 9 and 10 we read like this colossians chapter 3 verse 9 and 10 we read like this the word of god says do not lie to one another do not lie to one another seeing that seeing that you have stripped off the old self with its practices you have stripped off the old self with its practices and have clothed yourselves with the new self and have clothed yourselves with the new self which is being renewed in knowledge which is being renewed in knowledge according to the image of its creator according to the image of its creator praise the lord praise the lord so if you are a new creation if you are a new person if you have given up your old self then we will never speak lies we will never entertain lies we will never say any lie so this is what the word of god says john chapter 8 verse 44 let's read john chapter 8 verse 44 we read like this john chapter 4 8 verse 44 you are from your father the devil you are from your father the devil and you choose to do your father's desires and you choose to do your father's desires he was a murderer from the beginning he was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him because there is no truth in him when he lies when he lies he speaks according to his own nature he speaks according to his own nature for he is a liar for he is a liar and the father of all lies and the father of all lies so the devil is is the father of all lies and everyone who speak to speak lies knowingly or unknowingly become children of the devil because he is the father of all lies praise the lord praise the lord let's examine our conscience and see do we have this tendency to speak lies speaking ill of others speaking negative things and uh, unreasonable uh, informations spreading and uh, rash judgment hypocrisy flattering all these things let's examine our conscience and see do we have this tendency if so we need to ask for forgiveness from god and promise to jesus that we will never ever entertain any lie in our lives the kind of uh, it looks like a lie but it sometimes it is okay that is called evasive answers evasion or evasive answers So for example sometimes we are in a situation where you have we have to conceal a secret we oblige to but at the same time we have to um protect ourselves from harm protect ourselves and others from harm but at the same time we have to we have the obligation to conceal certain certain things and at the same time we also have to protect ourselves and protect um uh, others in such situation instead of saying lie if we say evasive answer that is okay that that is permissible for example 
there is an incident that happened in the life of saint athanasius of alexandria bishop of alexandria he was uh, there was a dead death warrant against him the king wanted to kill him because he he was so strong in his faith and everything and then one day they were trying to protect the followers of saint athanasius of alexandria was trying to protect him and they put him, concealed him in a vessel and they were uh, in they were going through the nile river and then the soldiers came and surrounded them they asked him have you seen saint athne uh, uh, bishop of alexandria athanasius and these followers they did not want to say lie but at the same time they wanted to protect the secret if they tell the truth they will lose these people will kill athanasius if they don't say the truth and then they have to they have to say the lie so in order to avoid li- saying lies but at the same time in order to protect athanasius they said yes we have seen him but he is not too far from he is not too far gone so this is what they said he has not gone too far and they said and then the soldiers immediately ran around thinking that he has gone somewhere else but in fact they were saying the truth he was not too far and he was he was inside the vessel so this is called evasive answer sometimes in order to protect and save others and save ourselves and to keep the obligation to keep the secret there are certain evasive answers are permissible because it is the duty of the one who is asking or hearing the answer to discern and right find out the right truth so in such situation provided these kinds of evasive answer is not harming anyone's image or life or personality or spirituality uh, it is permissible because it is not a lie it is an evasive answer praise the lord, praise the lord. thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus, praise you jesus. let's examine our conscience and see how we ever spoil the name of others how we ever spoil the good name of others it's not easy to create a good name so good name means there is a lot of hard work behind it not for the sake of name but this good name comes because of the sincere hard work of certain people and if we we can easily spoil it with one sentence or one word we can spoil the good name of others so it is not easy to get it back therefore how we ever defamed or spoiled the good name of others without even thinking twice or examining twice or finding the real truth or any basis re- basic reasons if we thought even all these if we have spoiled the name of someone it is a very serious matter of sin it is a sin against the eighth commandment let's examine our conscience and confess it Let's read this word of God Proverbs chapter 22 verse 1 Praise the Lord Praise the Proverbs Lord. chapter 22 verse 1 A good name is to be chosen A good name is to be chosen rather than great riches rather than great riches and favor is better than silver or gold And favor is better than silver or so gold So if you have a good name that is much better than the riches of this world good name good image Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Proverbs chapter 19 was 5. Proverbs chapter 19 was 5. We read like this. Proverbs chapter 19. A false witness will not go unpunished. A false witness will not go unpunished. And a liar will not escape. And a liar will not escape. A false witness will not go unpunished. A false witness will not go unpunished. And a liar will not escape. And a liar will not escape. So false witness and liar it is a dangerous position. Let's also was chapter same chapter was 9 we read like this was same chapter was 9 a false witness will not un- go unpunished a false witness will not go unpunished and the liar will perish and the liar will perish praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus thank you father thank you father praise you jesus praise you jesus so when i say this evasive answer to protect somebody and all those things but at the same time this is not permissible if the other person who is asking this question has the right to get the right answer for example if we are hiding one criminal 
and uh, you are trying to protect a criminal in this case which i gave you the example it was a saint and it was an injustice that was done to him and they wanted to kill him without any reason so that is why that invasive answer was acceptable but at the same at the same time if it was a criminal that they were trying to protect they are bound to tell the truth and that evasive answer is not justifiable because that criminal is a harm to the society he has to go through the consequence of his mistake and he has to come to the justice of the uh, court so that is why these kinds of in such situations telling the truth to the right people who have the right to know the truth is uh, is is to be done ways events of will become a sin then praise the lord, praise the lord. thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you about this there are when we speak about this eighth commandment lies rash judgment calumny telling secrets of others these are all are not acceptable these are coming under this eighth commandment there are different types of lies one is malicious lie malicious lie means you are lie leads someone else name or fame or image in danger or creating injury for others injury for their image or name or body or physique or family destroying the family of someone else or any lie that is giving any kind of harm to others is a serious sin it's a mortal sin because we are harming someone else through our lies praise the lord praise that the lord. is called malicious lie there are some normal lies which are not so creating injuries but at the same time it is not so harmful but at the same time it will it is creating some kind of boasting or selfishness or self-centeredness these are still lies and still sinful but may not be so mortal sin but it is venial sin it is a venial sin there are also some other lies called white lies white lies are called to avoid evil from oneself or others um there are certain people who say lies avoid evil from oneself or from others so we can put it under the uh, category of evasive answers these kinds of white lies or evasive answers and there is another lie is called jokos lie jokos lie means uh, just to speak a joke or a humor or just to make uh, give a fun for others we create some stories of our own stories and make everyone happy it is not a real incident or real hap- happening or real thing maybe like a parable or maybe a story as if it looks like it really happened and make everyone happy or joke or make them laugh it is called jokos lie so this jokos lies as long as it is not creating any harm to anyone if it is not injuring the image and name and fame and body and anything of others or oneself and if it is creating kind of good things it will be it is called jokos lie though it is not a lie but it is like a parable or a story created praise the lord, praise the lord. thank you jesus thank you jesus let's read uh, this word of god ephesians chapter 4 verse 25 ephesians chapter 4 verse 25 let's read this word of god ephesians chapter 4 verse 25 so then so then putting away falsehood putting away falsehood let all of us speak the truth to our neighbors let all of us speak the truth to our neighbors for we are members of one another for we are members of one another so putting away falsehood let all of us speak the truth to our neighbors for we are members of one another praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus me very serious or maybe a kind of uh, different types of uh, sin one is hypocrisy hypocrisy means one thing is inside another thing is outside when judas came and kissed jesus he showed a act of love but instead it was in fact it was act of betrayal this is kind of hypocrisy this hypocrisy is also a sin which comes under this eighth commandment so showing outwardly a act of love or act of compassion act of mercy but inwardly there is a hidden agenda maybe to get fame and name to get monetary help maybe some positions or some kind of betrayal this is called hypocrisy and the second one is called flattering flattering others 
you know there are people who go on flattering boasting and appreciating the others even though your conviction is otherwise conviction is just opposite you know that this person is uh, has, you are your impression about this person is not so appreciative but at the same time you are going on uh, exaggerating and speaking on going on flattering because your intention is to get some kind of benefit some kind of appreciation back or some kind of monetary or some other gains so this is called flattering let us read this word of god uh, proverbs chapter 29 verse 5 proverbs chapter 29 verse 5 we read like this 29:5 whoever flatters a neighbor whoever flatters a neighbor is spreading a net for the neighbor's feet is spreading a net for the neighbor's feet so this kind of flattering is a trap they are spreading a net for the neighbor's feet if somebody is unnecessarily without any reason going on flattering 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 and appreciating even though you don't deserve it then be careful about that flattering man or flattering flattering woman whoever may be there it is dangerous they are doing something wrong praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus isaiah chapter 5 was 20 isaiah 5, chapter 5 was 20 we read like this isaiah chapter 5 was 20 we read oh you who call evil good are you who call evil good and good evil and good evil who put darkness for light who put darkness for light and light for darkness and light for darkness who put bitter for sweet who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter and sweet for bitter praise the lord praise the lord there are people who do these so this is called a flattering or a hypocrisy praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise sirach chapter 19 verse 8 we read like this 19 verse 8 we read like this the word of god says with friend or foe with friend or foe do not report it do not report it and unless it would be a sin for you and unless it would be a sin for do you do not reveal it do not reveal it praise the lord praise the lord do not reveal the secrets of anyone to others unless it is a sin it is going to be a sin if it is not going to be a sin do not ever reveal the secrets of others it is called detraction without valid reason uh, we are we should not make known the hidden faults of others to anyone else without valid reason praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus, praise you, jesus. Thank, you father. thank you father praise you father praise you father let's all pray together